because they just like to go out on them, hover around, and look for places to jump down in and, uh, and fish. And you can even do these pre-season, put these brackets in. And all depending where I am, too. All depending where I am is how I anchor them. <laughs> if I'm close to a bank, I'll use the, the pogos. Um, if I'm out on a stream like this, I'm going to use uh, a fence staple. Um, something I learned from Eric Space, who's a mink snare man from Pencil or from New Jersey, is when a mink is moving along, his head is about four inches above the ground. So these traps right here with the circle trigger, always keep your thumbs up. Um, and one of my problems is when I'm doing demos I get going quick because that's how I am out on the line too I do things fast And that's it right there. You don't even have to put any blocking or anything. I've got plenty of pictures of mink coming along. They don't seem to shy away from it. Not that I've had any cameras on these sets or anything, but they'll dive right through and usually catch them around the middle of the body. That's it. Um, they really shine on the side of creeks where mink are going to be running the, the upper edges and stuff like that. Um, yeah, you'll catch some squirrels. I'd like to go with this size log and smaller because then you don't get coon traffic and stuff like that or, or foxes um, but it is deadly on mink um, the circle trigger and the circle trap just doesn't seem to spook them the way the square trap does um, on the trigger I just rounded over a one inch black iron pipe and then I used um, shrink wrap on the bottom so that doesn't kick around and uh, and that's it uh, I paint them black and like I said you can put the brackets in before season and uh, run like that but it's a quick easy way to go and like I said I use the pogo if I'm up on the bank if not this will just get nailed here so once it once it uh, gets caught it's down it's out of the way nobody sees it and uh, quick and easy any questions? What size trap is that? A 160. 160. 160. Um, and I have brackets that I made up that I can put in the side of the bank. So someplace else I can show you how I do that too. Uh, the nice thing about six inch, we can run them on land as long as we don't have bait around them, right? I believe that's what mm -hmm. it is. As long as we don't have what? Can't have bait or lure. Bait. If you yes. put it, but yep. otherwise, are we're you, allowed to use. Are you going to block up both on, ends of that? I kill, or are you I kill usually just putting one trap on a crossover? Uh, usually really one trap. Yeah. Through like a head drill. Okay. Yep. Um, because I'll have other sets. Um, when I'm setting mink, it's anywhere from eight to ten traps at a location. So you're going to come up with some pocket sets and whatnot around. Uh, pocket sets or just edge sets, right. stuff like uh, that. Right. Something, something quick and easy. Um, Talk well. Will that mink be, do you catch them in their bodies right through the center of the trigger or is it under it or? It's right through the center. You'll catch, you'll uh, suitcase them. Yep. And their bodies inside that circle trigger. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I mean, 
you've skinned out mink, so you know the size of their head. It's just like a mouse. Um, I've even got some uh, three and a half inch that I use up under the root systems because we're not allowed to snare here in New York. Um, and no, a big male mink will put his body right through them too. Mm. I have pictures I can show you mm. that I've taken. But yeah, good stuff.